My name is Nando Parrado. I was one of the 16 survivors of Flight 571, which crashed in the Andes Mountains on Friday the 13th of October 1972. Nothing made us think or believe that something terrible was going to happen. The fact that there were no boarding passes when we boarded the airplane decided who would live and who would die on the initial impact. The last image that I have is the top of the airplane, the roof over my head opened and I died. And I woke up in hell. Today, a chartered Uruguayan plane with 45 passengers aboard disappeared in the Andes Mountains. Obviously, we waited for a rescue from the first, second, third, fourth day, but it didn't come. There was a search, but it was abandoned several weeks ago. There's nothing that can provide any sort of food. There's ice, snow, and black rocks. That's all. There is only one option. You will see and do things that you'd never dream of seeing and doing. And they're so horrible you cannot even start to imagine. But things get worse. I heard the sound and I looked to my right and at that moment the avalanche hit the airplane. 27 were buried by the avalanche. I didn't like the idea of dying inside the fuselage, you know, a very horrible, slow and cold death. I would climb the mountain and I would see salvation on the other side. When we climbed that first mountain, what we saw was horrible. Instead of green valleys, we saw mountains and snow-covered peaks 360 degrees around us, and uh, I knew there that I was really dead. I told Roberto, look, we'll die, but we'll die trying. And, uh, you know, he looked at me and said, okay, we have done so many things together. Let's do one more. Let's die together.